Good morning, everybody. So, this is as winter as it gets over here up in Pittsburgh. But, um, it is the morning right now, and just got done doing some uh, important stuff in the morning before I start heading out for the day a little bit. A little bit of systemization, working on landing pages, and just getting the important bids and calls out the door. So, what we're going to do today is we're going to take a quick peek at an interior site we got going on today, a couple of sales calls, and just bring you along for the journey. Let's roll. <laughs> have arrived. So at this site, we painted the majority of the interior, walls and trim. Let's go take a peek inside, guys. All done with that one. So overall site looked pretty good. Team's working pretty hard. Love to see it. But uh, off to next estimate real quick. Let's roll. All right guys, that estimate is a wrap. Overall, thought it went pretty well. We're gonna be following up later on this afternoon and hopefully start that next week actually on christmas week so have another closing call real quick in about five minutes this job is a ten thousand dollar cabinet job wish me luck quick update guys we got a baby ten thousand dollar cabinet job in the books that job includes the main kitchen master bath spare bath and we're also going to be drilling new holes in the doors and the drawers Okay, we actually got that lead. Um, that was from our unconverted list, and we just sent a mass uh, email blast for reactivation, and in a matter of minutes, we got an answer back, and uh, boom, it happens just like that, guys. Remember, follow up, persist, close, service a customer, and you will blow up your company. Trust me. <laughs> hey, guys, we are officially back. So I call it the office, but I'm working from home now with everything going on. But um, we got what we needed to get done today. Uh, important stuff in the morning, uh, in the field throughout the day, coupling out some sales calls. Now we're going back to the office to work on our systems, um, specifically stuff with digital and automation. But basically I wanted to kind of get a point or get across the point of kind of like what you got to do throughout your daily routine, um, especially if you're in a situation where, you know, you're a smaller company, you're kind of doing a lot of the work yourself and you're just looking to scale. Because um, it can be super easy to get caught up in the rat race of just, you know, doing everything but doing nothing at the same time. So, you know, to kind of like finesse and like structure your day to get a lot of stuff done and be super, super effective, it's a little bit more simpler than it might seem. Okay, so, um, for those of you uh, who don't know, my name is Brian. I have a painting company in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. It's called Bella's Army Painting Division. Um, this year, we're doing a, uh, right around $800,000 in revenue going into our fourth year. So we're at the point where I'm basically, I mean, I, I was doing everything this year in terms of doing the project management, uh, doing all the sales, relaying work orders, uh, talking with customers, communicating the subs. So, we, there, there was a lot of like inefficiencies and um, right now we're finally at the point where uh, in about a month and a half, two months, we're gonna start bringing in sales reps, hiring for project managers, um, bringing some people into the office to like handle phone calls, assist, and um, we're just going to you know be expanding and adding a lot more people now. So um, this winter, because it's currently December, a couple weeks before Christmas, uh, what we're doing is really zoning in on our systems. So that includes like, getting a CRM software, um, 
a sales estimation software, integrating all of that, working on automations for emails, text messages for pre-positioning, post-positioning, uh, whenever you're trying to like sell and present stuff to these customers and um, working on tons of digital. So like that's videos, retargeting videos, ads, uh, copy, recruiting ads. Um, there's a lot that goes into it. So what I have been doing uh, personally is structuring my day in like little tiny chunks or like blocks to kind of just like really organize it. So uh, whenever you're in this, you know, point in time in your company and you're looking to kind of grow and scale, you're going to have to block off time to work on your systems. You're going to have to work on your red zone tasks, which a red zone task is basically like think of football. Whenever you're in the red zone, you're close to scoring. So um, on the video you saw today, there was like a $10,000 cab in the job. And uh, we actually ran that through our CRM software and just kind of like sent a mass email and text campaign out to our unconverted estimates. And we basically just got that person to, uh, you know, show some interest. So today that was my red zone target was uh, in the morning, kind of like going through uh, the high potentials, uh, scheduling phone calls. So we scheduled a phone call for one o'clock today to uh, zone in and close that deal, uh, which we did. <laughs> so um, there's the red zone tasks that you kind of got to focus on. That's what's going to drive your revenue or just get whatever you need to get done. And then there's production. So like I typically just do like one or two site visits a day could be five to 15 minutes of, uh, of my time, but just kind of pop it in to check out everything to make sure it's going good. And uh, they're just time for sales. So what I typically do, like first thing in the morning, I kind of wake up, go right to my laptop, um, make sure the team uh, has what they need to have, a, like they have all the resources and stuff. Um, everybody has their tasks. And then once everybody's ready to roll, I go in and do my most important things. So. That's typically my red zone items. And then I do my systemizations. So most important thing, first thing in the morning, and then typically around like 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock AM, I typically go into the field for a little bit. So that could be site visits, that could be juggling phone calls uh, while I'm driving and stuff like that. And just, you know, going on appointments, whether that's in person or over Zoom, doesn't matter. And Typically, like right now, it's about four o'clock or so, um, give or take. I, I had to run a couple errands before that. But um, now I'm just kind of going back home, making sure that uh, teams are wrapping up for the day. Everything is good. Nothing kind of crazy popped up. Making sure paint's ordered for tomorrow. A team has their game plans for tomorrow. And I'm just working on systems and closing out my day. So as you can see, the point in my uh, time right now, it's a lot of sales, a lot of systems. And just doing work every single day for the team for the following day to make sure everybody's organized. So, again, it's super <clears throat> important to just juggle your day, organize it, have a game plan, be very systematic. <coughs> excuse me, be very systematic in terms of like doing what you're doing, because you might if you're in a point just, uh, similar to mine, the second you start bringing people in in like a couple months. You have to be in a good spot to where they're set up. So that's been my, my perspective uh, in terms of running a close to uh, a million dollar company. Just systemizing roles, you know, creating documents, checklists, working that role. Then you can bring people in, train them, test, manage from a distance, rinse, repeat. Okay, so I hope that helped, guys. Thanks for coming along today. Um, I'm going to get out of here. Got to hop on the laptop real quick. But until next time, <clears throat> I will see you in the next video.